Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to show you how to link these together continuously. And there's several different ways. We're going to take our parallel dimension tool, and we're going to go from that node to that node and see what it is, and it's 6.74. So we're going to change our nudge factor to 6.74. Then we need to make a duplicate, so we'll hit plus key, we need to make a duplicate, we'll hit plus key. And then I'm going to make another duplicate because we want a whole one. We don't want, we want one for the ends after we do this. So all you're going to do is change, basically change the middle one. So we're going to take our virtual segment delete key. And you could do this in several ways and how you think it should look. And we're just going to have a fill in here and then do the exact same thing on this side. Just kind of imagine like that, but we want this gone. And now we can take away this, just hit delete. Take this away and just hit delete. And then hit the plus key and move it over and look what it did. Then hit the plus key and move it over and move it over and just keep duplicating it over and over. And then what I was saying about you want a complete one on the end, so we're going to take the end one and hit the plus key and move it all the way to the other end. Now we're going to need to make a few minor changes to the end one. We, we're going to take away this, but that way everything else is done. And then we're going to do the same thing on this end. Just imagine that you want the Smart Fill tool to fill and then in the previous video I did this, I don't know if it doesn't always work like this because I haven't really welded it together. But I've, if you weld it together, that doesn't work because it takes away our over and under. So you might have to smart fill this. Let's just try. Nope, see it's taking the new part and not letting this fill up. <clears throat> so, and it all depends on what you, well, let's just do this. I think it will work if we do it this way. Let's take all these and group them together. Let's move them over here, over here for a second. Go to object, group and group, then open up the contour docker, go to effects and contour. We're gonna contour that 0 0.05. See, it's not contouring that because we didn't ever fill it in and so my theory isn't working. So let's take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in, nudge it down. Sorry, nudge it down. Now, if we take all these and left click, right click, and go ahead and group them together, and contour them, yep, it's gonna work. And then take and contour this, so the ones didn't contour, but we can break the, I'll tell you what, we'll nudge this down twice, and we'll take our contour and break the contour apart and try to grab the red and nudge it down. Now the other ones have an, a black outline because I didn't contour, I didn't break the contour apart. So let's move these up. Let's go up to object, break contour apart, grab the center and move them up. Now we should be able to just fill it in with black. If we don't, we'll have to punt. Yep, it worked. And then, then right click, no outline. So you've got a kind of a, I don't like, I would, I would change the center and maybe tomorrow I'll do another one. But it is a unique design that keeps going. You know, you could go around the corner of a box. Um, you know, you could possibly even do other things with it. Let's move it down. I'll just think about some things. Control D and make a duplicate. Let's mirror it the other way and then move it up. Look at that. Pretty cool design. Now I'd want to, well, I would want to just probably leave that like that. But then you could have made a really long line and had several things in there. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.